So the last question that we kind of um, had pre-planned was what kind of um, uh, other jobs in your department exist, ones that maybe don't require a PhD or that are still like in the earth science field. Um, so essentially we know that there's a system professor, right? But what other, and we have a technician. So what other positions are there in your department and do they all require PhDs or can some of them be done by master's students? So if something's already been said, you don't need to say it. So let's just start with James and see what we got out there. Um, yeah, I feel like there are probably other people on the Zoom call that can answer this better than me. Um, <laughs> but um, because I haven't been there that long. Um, but yeah, there are some positions. So, I mean, you can get at the University of Auckland, you can get a like a teaching faculty position. I think some of them have master's degrees. And the, 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 yeah, but if you're teaching and research, you typically need a PhD. Um, and at the School of Environment, University of Auckland is huge. So we also have health and safety people. Um, and yeah, obviously like a bunch of technicians as well. So, um, so yeah, in the department you can, um, but, uh, and there are some, I think you can get some casual research kind of contract like stuff um, with a master's degree or even a bachelor's probably. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'll just leave it at that, I think. Cool. What about mine? Yeah, so my position actually does not require a PhD, but it's PhD recommended. So for instance, if you have, it, you do have to have at least a master's, so some sort of graduate degree, um, as well as experience. So if you don't have the doctorate side of things, they would expect to have several years of experience. Mm -hmm. um, other positions that um, are not tenure track faculty, there are uh, lecturers, which in the US is just the teaching faculty, so people who just teach, and for that only a master's is required as well. Um, in some cases, PhD recommended, it varies by person or just, again, experience. Um, there are lab manager positions as well. Um, those, similar situation, only requires a master's, PhD recommended, um, depends on your experience. And we also work really closely with uh, science and technology. So that's a sort of a separate mini department that manages um, a lot of instruments that are utilized by uh, all of the departments in the science school. So all of the sciences, et cetera. And you don't, for a lot of those positions, um, a PhD isn't required either. So um, at least in terms of the technical side of things, in a lot of cases, you're, you're not necessarily required to have a doctorate degree, but you, they are looking for, often, oftentimes, they're looking for some sort of graduate experience just to see that you can you know, start, manage, and finish uh, some sort of task or project. Um, and mostly they're just looking for experience. So I would definitely recommend if anybody's interested in the technical side of things, reach out as much as you can. So as an undergrad, I reached out to professors and asked to work in their labs just to gain some of that experience to work with different instruments. So if, if a technician position is something that definitely interests you, um, and you know that now, reach out and ask to learn these, um, these ask to gain experience to the best of your abilities. You probably won't get to do things like maintenance, but you'll get to learn different instruments, their capabilities, how to set them up, and that helps tremendously. Cool, great suggestion, uh, Natalia. Yeah, very, very similar, but um, in, so at Los Santos, we don't have uh, huge equipment. Our, our labs are basics, uh, things section preparation and some um, geophysical instruments and that sort of thing. So for those positions, they don't require a PhD, um, not even the masters. They have um, an undergrad here that is specific for technicians. And so they hire them for those kind of, of labs and they help a lot um, to the students as well. But um, for, for the big equipment, um, I use the ones in Mexico and then they require the PhDs, for example, for the microprobe, for instance, or here in the National University, they require the master's degree at least for, for the microprobe. So for those kind of of technical positions, yes, they, they do require higher degrees. Um, but other positions are as well as teaching, they require the masters and, um, and there are people helping with the management 
and uh, with the safety issues, uh, for example, and um, during the field work. Uh, but that's that's it basically. Um, for us here, we have so what we call lecturer in Singapore is the teaching faculty position. Um, so you are a faculty like an assistant professor, but you uh, are more heavily weighted on, on your more heavily evaluated on your teaching, and you have um, a bit less opportunities for applying for grants for research. If you're more on a teaching side. Um, I'm not sure whether it absolutely requires a PhD, but it's probably highly recommended. Um, and the, this and the professor positions are the tenured positions. And so those are the ones that, that are somewhat permanent well, once you're tenured. But otherwise we have um, research assistant or research associate positions. So the research assistant is you just have an undergrad degree. Um, research associate, you have a master's degree. And um, you can be uh, going from participating on this particular project to assist in the lab or um, in uh, some of the organization of experiments or field trips um, to we have some positions that are um, a bit longer term, uh, which are for our uh, field managers. So for all of the undergraduate field trips, we have two people that are helping us. Um, organize those. Um, we'll also participate in those because they've received all of the safety training um, and, and those um, kinds of activities. Um, in the labs, we have often research fellows, but then it depends on the labs. The research fellows have a PhD degree. Again, it's not mandatory, but often the salary is proportional to the degree you have. So you'll have better pace if you have a PhD. Um, most of those positions though are not long term so your contract can be renewed there can be a long-term vision for having a position like this but you don't have the security of a permanent contract so um, it can happen that the funding is shuffled or it's a bad year and uh, and some positions might have to get funds. we haven't seen too much of this yet but we're a long young department and it's more in its initiation than it's um kind of long-term maintenance so i, I I don't know how it would evolve um, in the long term. I think it's a pity because um, it's very precious to have a very good lab tech helping you maintain your instruments um, and get high quality data over the long term. Um, and I think there's discussions within the university to put more um, value on those people and try to put more attention on those people. But I don't think I've seen it come out as like long-term contracts yet. Yeah, um, and I guess those would be most of the positions. They have put up a kind of a career evolution track for a lot of those positions, whereby if you've been at NTU for a given time in this, uh, in this uh, position, you can get promoted. So you can start in as a research fellow and then evolve to senior research fellow and then principal research fellow. So there's a career evolution trend that's possible for those different um, which I think is also something new and good, but yeah. Cool, thank you.